A wild night over the weekend for country music star and East Tennessee native Morgan Wallen arrested in Nashville, accused of throwing a chair from a rooftop bar, narrowly missing two police officers. Uh, this is a six-story tall building. Now he's facing charges including reckless endangerment. Six on your side, legal analyst Greg Isaacs helps us understand the law surrounding this celebrity scandal. Uh, Greg, thank you for being here. Lori, it's good to be here. This is a hot one. It's a hot one. Is wow. it life imitating art or, or singers imitating songs? Wow. Uh, Morgan Wallen uh, charged uh, for throwing a chair off a six-story bar, Chiefs, owned by Eric Church in Nashville. But, Lori, the charges are serious. Three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of disorderly conduct. What kind of time could he face? What do you think is going to happen here? Could he be punished? Well, it was a $15,000 bond. And, and let's talk about the elements of reckless endangerment. It's reckless conduct that places uh, someone in imminent fear of serious bodily injury or death. It's times three because there were three people uh, in the zone of danger when the chair came uh, cascading off the roof. Uh, but one to two years on each. So a total of three to six years. Uh, but here's the problem. In every criminal case, if you're the prosecutor, uh, you're concerned with general and specific deterrence. Mm -hmm. Let's look at specific. Uh, has Morgan Wallen accepted responsibility, learned his lesson? He was um, laughing in the back of a police car. Uh, yeah, you know, you're always being filmed. Yeah. Body cameras, uh, sometimes you're, they're your friends, sometimes they're not. Yeah. In May of 2020, he was arrested for disorderly conduct, uh, leaving Kid Rock's uh, big, blank, honky-tonk and blocks steakhouse. Away couple blocks away couple blocks away. But... Uh, general deterrence is more important mm -hmm. because in this case, if you're Glenn Funk, the district attorney, uh, and you give Morgan Wallen a snap, on, a slap on the wrist, what about all the tourists that come to Nashville all the time and they're drinking and they're on those same bars? When they throw something on the roof, if they give Morgan Wallen a pass, if I'm their lawyer, I'm saying, hey, John Q. Public needs to be treated the same mm -hmm. as M. Morgan Wallen. So you think he's going to be made an example of, perhaps? I, what do you I think? think? I think you got to. Mm -hmm. So if you're his lawyer, Warwick Robinson, you know, you've got your hands cut out because your client's giggling in the back of the police car, and you're going to walk in and knock on the door of Glenn Funk and say, we've accepted responsibility. We're so sorry. We'll never do it again. And he's going to say, not so fast. Yeah. So I think you might see public service, an alcohol and drug assessment. Mm -hmm. uh, is there going to be any shock incarceration? I doubt it, but it's not off the table. Uh, but it's serious. So mm -hmm. um, I think this is not only going to be interesting to see what happens to Morgan Wallen, but how they use Morgan Wallen uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again. And we're so thankful no one was hurt. At Bottom the end line. of the day. All right, Greg, thank you. And if you have a legal question, send it to askisaacs at wate.com. And remember, we talk with Greg every Wednesday at 530 right here on WATE 6 on your side.